All right, so now that we're in the cab, these are the lights that we're going to be exchanging. Uh, these that light up orange, these that light up orange, these orange, this and this is backlighting is orange. This reset and mode is orange. A rear window switch, four wheel drive is orange. I'm sick of seeing orange. And then also these three right here, the uh, diff lock, trash control, and I don't even know what this button is. Can someone tell me what that button is? At a later date, I'll be exchanging these and then I'll also be doing this one little auto. I'm about to show you how to get this dash trim off. All right, so what you'll need is a 10 millimeter, uh, an extension to make it easier and a ratchet. I got screwdrivers. I don't remember if I need them or not. And I also have my Gerber. First thing you'll do is take your 10 millimeter right underneath your steering wheel. There'd be a hole there and a hole there. I already took this first one out. Just unscrew that second one. All right, so the next thing you'll do is you just squeeze your finger in there and then pull this panel out. And these three, uh, just push this clip in right here on the side, just like all three of them. Push that side clip in and then pull it out. Do the same thing for the other three. And then for these two, the hood release and the fuel door release, push down right here. And on this one, you'll push down in the center here. Push down and then like pry it out, just like that. See how it's moving? All right now that one, that one is out. And then this one, same thing. So that just kind of feed it out like that. Unplug those three and then literally just lift it right out. First thing you want to do is just open the glove box. Rest your hands on the side here and basically just pull up just like that. Just pull straight up and it'll release it just like this. Then you'll have one connector right here. You'll push in the tab and then pull it out. That's for your cigarette lighter. And the same thing for your, your downhill assist control. Just unplug those two connectors. And then as soon as you unplug that second one, just lift it straight out. All right, so the next thing you'll have to do is to remove this climate control. Just open this little glove box, pull it straight up. Just rock it side to side and pulling it up. This climate control, there's usually a screw right here. Unscrew that screw, the 10 millimeter, and then pry straight out. And then pry straight out on the other side. So pry this side out. And for this connector, the same as every connector, just push the pin in and then unplug it. All right, to get this trim out, so you can replace the rear window switch and the four wheel drive, all you have to do is, there's a screw right down there in the corner. You see that screw? It's a 10 millimeter, unscrew that. This and this will get caught on these. So you kind of have to wiggle it side to side and up and down, wiggles itself free. But I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew that screw over here in the corner. After you take the bolt out down here in the corner, you'll have two bolts right here underneath the radio. Unbolt those. And then grab here and grab here and kind of like gently pull. Don't go gorilla. So the three things you'll have to unplug is the window switch up and down, the four wheel drive and the hazards. Here's a quick tip. If you can't get this clip off of this uh, rear window switch, basically just go to the back and push it forward with your finger and it'll shoot it forward. And then just put a little screwdriver right there in that little tab and then it'll push it right out. Basically just put it, push it right there in the center and it unplugs just like that. All right, so once you got all the clips unclipped, just go ahead and shimmy it. And now you have your dash. Now just find a place that you can uh, have a table and a workbench, and then I'll show you how to swap out these bulbs. All right, so now that we got a workspace, here's the everything you'll need for this job. I got two different size flatheads, uh, something to press the wire into the grooves of the bulb holder, and then some, some wire cutters to cut the excess wire off. And of course, your light bulbs. I got these on Amazon. It's a 50 pack 12 volt, three millimeter white LED. It's just a simple LED. These two down here, one's for, if you can see this one, is for the circulating the AC. The defrost is on this side. And then for this knob, it's this bulb. See that? that gray in there and then the middle one is what you're trying to do and there's another gray one and the same for the last gray one for this lcd panel you have one and two and then this one over here is for your seat belt indicator and your safety indicators on the inside take one you'll see a little notch in there you'll just put the screwdriver in there and turn it just a slight turn and then like 
pop it out and then it'll fall out into your hand. See how that just fell right out? All right, so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to reroute this wire so you can take it the bulb out. You see how it's all routed up in there? And when you put the new one on, you're gonna put it back on exactly the same. See how it's starting to come out? You gotta reroute it out. All right, so there you have it, there's the two wires. And then all you do, you kind of push up on the wire so the ball will come out and just pull the bulb out. The process is just as simple, putting it back in, basically slide it in there, that's it. So you just like that, you can pull it down and then reroute it, do that to the rest of them. That's what one looks like after you're done. After you do all that, and all of them are all put back in, you go ahead and test it out in the vehicle. Um, again, if you didn't do it right, you untwist it, you pull it out just a little bit and you turn it. So instead of this facing that way, it'll face that way. Because the polarity of the LEDs, that has to be a positive and a negative. But yeah, let's go try it out. All right, so now that we're back in the truck, let's go ahead and plug it back in. It might be hard to see because uh, it's, it's daylight right now. What I typically do is I put in the top just so it'll hold it in place so I can check it. I don't click in the bottom or put the screw back in. All right, you see how one side's black and one side's white? Uh, that's two bulbs right there. Uh, the left one's working. The right one needs to be basically turned, like I said earlier. Now let me check these gauges and then these other two, uh, air circulation and defrost. All right, so the gauges are all good. The defrost is good. This air circulation needs to be flipped just like this one. So two out of seven ain't bad. Pop this back out, unplug it. So the circulation one was bad. Basically you're gonna twist it like you're gonna take it out. Like turn it, turn it, turn it until it falls back in again. And then lock it back in. It's just that simple. Do that to each one that did not turn on. And then let's test it again. I think that should do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all back in. All right, now both sides are on. That's good. All right, let's turn on these lights and see. All right, now they're all on. The next one we're gonna be replacing is the, is the downhill assist control and how you do that you flip it over and you'll see a tab here and then an identical tab here but it's gonna be hard to see because the light in here push this tab right here and it tilts in same thing with this side hit that one and then it'll slide out the front once you have that removed you're looking for this little light right here in the side Now you just gotta take it after you put the new LED in, you're just gonna put it right back in. Put it in the slot and it'll just pop in. All right, so the next ones that I'm going to be taking out is the window up and then the full drive. So flip it over, the window up and down, switch right here. The same as the other one, just push this tab in and then it'll fall out the front. The four wheel drive, I'm not gonna take the whole assembly out. See that brown thing right there? That's the bulb for this whole assembly. So you just unscrew that and pop it out. 
Same with the last one, just route the wire of the new bulb through this housing and then plug it back in. Grab your screwdriver and your bulb and just put it back in the four wheel drive or whatever one you took out of. The next one, the up and down switch for the rear window. The bulb housing is right there. Take it out exactly the same way. It's just a quarter of a turn and then pull it out. Put it back on the screwdriver. Screw it back on. And just pop it right back in there. All right, so last but not least, um, these, these buttons I'm gonna change out just like all the other ones. Do you see that white with red strip right there? Every single one of them. So if you pop this one out, push this tab in, it'll slide out. Then the bulb is right there on the next one. And then if you pop this one out, that bulb is in exactly the same spot. So yeah, I'm gonna pull these out. Well, I already got two out, set these right here. And you can change the order of them too. So if you if you don't like your traction control button to be all the way on the left, you can put it on the right. The wires are long enough to move them. And then pop up this last one. I'm gonna go run out there and test them individually so I don't have to put them back in, hook them all up and put all the dash pieces back in. Just test them individually. All right, so I'm gonna show you what the LEDs look like now that all of them are done. That's the dash, that's the gauges, that's the window up and down and the four wheel drive. And then last but not least is the three gauges on this side. The center gauge that actually gives you your fuel economy and the temperature outside. 